What if you could run PlayStation 3 games on your Android device, even on a low-end phone with better performance and smoother gameplay? Introducing RPCS3 Android Alpha 6, the latest update to the most ambitious PS3 emulator ever. This isn't just a minor tweak. This update brings a brand new settings menu, unlocking advanced customization options that let you optimize performance like never before. In this video, I'll test RPCS3 on a low-end device, break down the new features, and guide you through the best settings for smooth gameplay. So stick around. Before we dive in, let me introduce you to RPCS3 Android. RPCS3 is one of the best PS3 emulators, allowing you to play PlayStation 3 games on PC. It supports various operating systems and has been a top choice for years. But here's the game-changing news. After being exclusive to PC for a long time, the dev team has officially released an Android version. Since its launch, RPCS3 for Android has already received six updates and is making waves in the gaming community. Thousands of gamers have tested PS3 titles on Android, and the results are shocking. Initially, it required high-end devices, but with significant updates, it's now playable on mid-range and even low-end devices. For this test, we're considering 4GB RAM devices as low-end. And here's the twist, it's not a Snapdragon device. Can it handle PS3 games? Let's find out. Now let's see how to download the latest RPCS3 emulator. The RPCS3 Android emulator is an open-source project available on GitHub. Simply visit the GitHub page, open the Tags option, and here you will find all the available versions. Open Alpha 6 and download the APK file, then install it. If you see a Google Play Protect warning because it's built with an older Android version, don't worry, it's safe to install. When you first open the app, if it asks for permission to send notifications, simply agree. Next, you need to install the firmware file, which is an essential component to run this emulator. Fortunately, the PlayStation 3 firmware is available on PlayStation's official website, so you can easily download it. Make sure your internet connection is stable to avoid interruptions during the process. Once downloaded, click on Install Firmware and navigate to the folder where the file is stored most likely in the Downloads folder. The installation will start immediately and complete within seconds. Let's add games. Simply click on the plus icon and navigate to the folder where your games are stored. Disclaimer, the emulator itself is legal, but using illegal ROMs is forbidden. I do not support or provide access to pirated games, so please use legal copies for your safety. Here's a secret tip for you. After testing tons of games, I realized that since my device only has 4GB RAM, it can run PS3 games under 1GB smoothly. To find the right games, I asked ChatGPT for suggestions, and guess what? It recommended some great options, and they're actually playable. Let's tweak settings for low-end devices. Click the three-dot menu at the top right corner, then Settings, then Advanced Settings. There are many new options here. Now you can adjust the core PPU decoder and thread settings. Please check your phone's threads in System Info before making a selection. Other options also help in making games run smoother. There's nothing to change in VFS, but the most anticipated feature is Video Settings. We can now choose the API and video resolution, selecting between OpenGL and Vulkan. Additionally, there's a fully customizable performance overlay. Here, the newly added Shaders Loading dialog option. If you want to play high-end games, lowering the resolution can improve performance. You can set the aspect ratio, but stretch mode is not available yet. I hope they add it in the next update. The frame rate can go up to 120 FPS, but setting it to auto is the safest option for now. There are also many more new features, more exciting additions such as keyboard and mouse support. You can now use a keyboard and mouse. Other impressive options like network settings and save states have also been improved. You're all set to start playing. Choose a game from your newly populated library in the RPCS3 emulator and dive into your gaming adventure. Enjoy the amazing experience of playing PS3 games right on your mobile device. And there you have it, folks. If you found this guide helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more gaming content. Happy gaming, and I'll see you in the next video.